People have often asked me why you're doing this, uh, and my answer simply has been, I just can't help it, it's in my DNA. I come from an island in the Mediterranean uh, where my father has been in the olive oil business all his life. Grew up around farming and, and olives and getting out in sunrise and going to uh, olive fields and sunflower fields and so on. And I think there's just simply, there's something that simply grounds you when you farm. Uh, right now I am in the high tech business. Uh, we have a very fast paced life in the Silicon Valley. But uh, when I come out to skip stone and put on my boots on a Friday night, you simply just forget about the high-tech, fast-paced world and, and you connect to a completely different environment. The moment I saw this vineyard, I knew it was something really special. And I had an even greater epiphany when I tried the wines for the first time. The idea was to build, uh, you know, connect with the land, uh, get into farming in some sense. And I always thought olives. When I saw this property, I just simply fell in love with the entire sort of ambiance of it, if you will. And uh, having sort of some level of familiarity with uh, what it might take to produce high quality fruit, which is really the core of uh, what you're trying to do in fine winemaking, uh, the place just made sense. When I met Philippe uh, at a Robert Parker event, um, I told him about Skip Stone and I told him that it would be important or, or I really wished he would come over and, and talk to us and taste the wines. I discovered a, a magnificent wine, I think a wine of character and uniqueness. And uh, after about sort of being quiet for about 30 minutes and very carefully tasting the wines in his uh, perfect French accent, and Philippe says, there is, uh, I can just taste the uh, skip stone uh, in these wines. Sight is really key for uh, any kind of high-end wines, as we all know. I think one of the important part of it is uh, obviously the beauty of the site, but also as well the site feel like it's very exclusive, it's on its own, it's very unique, it's uh, its own little niche, something I really didn't see except at uh, Skip Stone. We obsess about uh, wine growing, it's, uh, it's in the farm, it's in the land, uh, it's in the vineyard, uh, we just need to make sure that we can take what the land is giving us and presented in a, uh, in a beautiful bottle uh, without messing around with it too much. In my style of wine, I'm always going back to this word of purity. Purity for me show the intensity of detailed work we can have with the grapes and at the end with the wine. Yeah, I mean, our, our real philosophy, as you guys may have heard, is just no touch. We try to have the vineyard speak by itself. Uh, the winemakers change style over the years. Uh, the vineyard will always stay there. One of our core values at Skip Stone is uh, sustainability. Uh, we not only want to produce a great um, bottle of wine that we're proud of, but we want to be able to do this uh, with a tremendous amount of respect to the land. We operate the property entirely through solar power. We also are certified organic across the entire 200 acre property. We focus on organics and sustainability by planting carefully selected cover crops and farming by hand and of course we never use pesticides or chemicals in our farming. We also have beehives here at the property which helps us to support all of the secondary plantings that help sustain the vineyard. We have a two acre culinary garden and orchard which is also all certified organic and everything is done with sustainability in mind and with uh, keeping our carbon footprint extremely low if not at zero. But we also believe that by farming uh, sustainably we're just simply producing higher quality fruit and the focus has gone from tremendous attention to the plant or the vine itself uh, to uh, attention and focus on the soil. I will say it's almost like an amphitheater, 180 degrees, which really bring a lot of diversity, as you can imagine, for exposure, but also soil type. We got different types of soils, and working with the good winemakers, it's, uh, it's, it's great, because it's like a chef having all the, the spices. And there's a lot of diversity, which is good and bad in some sense. It's bad in that farming costs and complexity is very high. 
uh, but it's good in that it gives us that level of complexity that we're looking for in the wine. Our main focus at Skipstone is producing uh, a Bordeaux blend. Um, Bordeaux blend in a sense that uh, it's a Cabernet uh, dominated blend. Obviously we're in California, we're making a completely different style of wine. We start with a Cabernet and we add other components. We have Merlot uh, and we have Cabernet Franc as our uh, main blending varietals. But at every vintage we really focus on the Cabernet component and see if we can improve it by adding uh, Cab Franc or Merlot or Malbec uh, into the blend. And if we can do that um, and add additional level of complexity uh, to the wine, we do that. The backbone of the Oliver's blend every year comes from Las Rocas, so named by our vineyard crew because of the very thin and rocky soils there. It's a really dynamic hillside, very, very steep. It's cut into 14 micro blocks within only a few acres. And that Cabernet um, is really sort of the hallmark of the Skipstone wines. Because of the, uh, the complexity and different sort of microclimates that are apparent at Skipstone uh, in our little bowl and, and very steep hillsides, somehow we're making great uh, Viognier, and I don't question why. You have beautiful notes of peach and whetstone minerality, honeysuckle and uh, orange navel blossom, floral elements to the aroma. It's just a delicious wine. Our Viognier is very crisp. We don't like to oak it too much. It's just a beautiful summer wine to drink with uh, just a great variety of foods. It's a very food-friendly wine. This uh, uh, sort of passion for winemaking in small quantities grew. Uh, we have now uh, decided to look to other appellations and try to make uh, same quality wines from other areas. We're very excited about uh, having identified some other properties and other sources of fruit that uh, brings a completely different dimension, uh, but a complementary dimension to our wine program at Skipstone. We are all very excited about it because we feel like it could be a lot of fun to be able to test side by side an Alexander Valley wine and an Napa Valley wine made from with the same winemaker. At the end of the day, uh, Skipstone is about s simple things in life, uh, such as skipping a stone in the ocean, and enjoying a bottle of wine and ultimately that's why we're doing this because we just simply love it.